And with Washington set to hand over wartime operational control to Seoul at the end of next year, the top commander for U.S. forces in Korea says he's closely monitoring the readiness of Korea-U.S. combined forces to deal with North Korean threats while pouring efforts into strengthening South Korea's military capabilities. Army General Curtis Gaparati told the Senate Armed Forces Committee that he's reviewing the OPCON transfer so Seoul can continue to enjoy the benefits of the two countries military alliance. Seoul have been asking Washington to delay the transfer date from December 2015, citing growing nuclear threats from North Korea. South Korea and the U.S. are expected to set the date at this year's high-level bilateral military talks in October.